Hello, peoples. What's up? This is the Lego Show 23, and today I have the Plo Koon set to review. Um, it's a really good set in my opinion. It comes with two mini figs. Oh yeah, by the way, set number eight zero nine three. So it comes with two mini figs. Uh, ages seven to twelve. Retails for about twenty dollars now. Pieces one hundred and seventy-five. And, um, yeah, it's a really good set. I like it. Um, yeah, the minifigs that it comes with, oh, yeah, and one weapon. The minifigs that it comes with is, um, R7D4, I think. Yeah, and then Plo Koon. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get on to the review. Uh, by the way, I don't have the box with the instructions, sorry about that. Yeah, let's go. So, start up with R7D4. Alright, um, he's a cool minifigure. Uh, he's not exclusive to this set, I don't think. But, um, yeah, I like him a lot. He's pretty cool. You know, that. You know. Little droid that sticks into the ship. No. Yeah, he's probably one of my favorite robots. There you go. Alright, now on to Plo Koon. Uh, he is very cool. He's got this kind of rubber head thing. Uh, he's got His torso. Just gonna get his head on. Okay. Alright. <coughs> so, yeah. He's cool. I haven't seen him since a uh, gunship came out. But yeah, he's a cool minifigure. I like him. He's got these black hands, silver stuff. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, so you've seen the minifigures. Now let's go on to the weapons. The weapons, the simple, simple lightsaber. Blow Koon. Okay, so you saw that. I mean, it's got this uh, shiny hilt. Not chrome, but shiny. So you saw all that. Let's get on to the ship. Now, this is a really nice ship. It's got some nice detail. It's a printed piece all around. Uh, it's got, let's start with this little flag. So it's got this little flag, and it can, like, yeah, it's cool. It just, you can move it back and forth if you want. And uh, you have... This, I think I built it wrong or something, but this, like, ejects him out of his place. So, yeah. Or, I, I think it's supposed to be there. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and inside, so you have these little space transmitter thing and these two controls. It's very cool. Uh, this is where Plo Koon sits. She just clips in there like this. Just like this. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand. Hold on. Just uh, go here. Okay, pull like that. Sorry about that. It goes just like that, and this comes like that. There you go. Sits in there. The cockpit. Yeah, it's cool. And then you have for the bottom. 
Oh, you can see that's what triggers. You push this up. Goes like that. Ejects them. So yeah, that's probably the main feature of the set. How it ejects Goku from his little cockpit. And on the bottom you can see you have these movable kickstands. Um, no. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it just stands up by itself. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the bottom of the ship. Uh, and then you got you these two little jet blaster things. Yeah. Pretty cool. And then you have this little area where uh, R7 sits. Just put them in like. Put them in like this. Okay. That. Yeah. And over here, we have this little handle that you can put his lightsaber right there. Just like that. And then we have these little kind of blaster things. Yeah, and then some stickers. I know it's uneven. The head of the ship. Uh, yeah, and then you know, when he's flying off. And this is my brother's set, by the way. Uh, when he's flying off. Oh, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the set. Now, let's go to the ratings of the set. I think the rating, eh, you know, I like this set a lot, but I think they could have done more detail using the wings. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, the wings can move up and down like this. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, move up and down like this. It's cool. All right, anyways, I think they could have added more detail to the wing. And I could think that just could have added like maybe like a little ship over here and a little more detail to uh to the cockpit area. I think they could have done more with this set. Like could have given him like a cannon or something from underneath here or I don't know. Oh that'd be cool if this could come up like that. Like you could put it up and then you'd have the cannon and shoot it. Uh I don't know. Um so I'm gonna have to give this set a seven. I don't know. I just think they could have added more detail. But the set itself is it's a pretty good set. Uh, I do recommend buying it because it is very cool for playing. But if you're just a collector and it's probably just gonna be collecting dust. Uh, yeah. So, so Lego Show 23 here. Signing out. Peace.